Hey everyone, so this is my homemade backyard aquaponic system. Um, I've got these three grow beds for it over here, which are basically just, uh, I hope the light is right here, which are basically just um, planters, plastic ones that I've rigged up to be, um, you know, auto amped on a flood and drain cycle with a couple of uh, bell siphons, one in each. Uh, you can see I've got them filled up with river rocks over here. Light is really horrible. But you can just make out that there are these river rocks that fill it up. That's them there. Pretty, pretty big rocks, not little ones. I've only planted this monisteria plant. Um, this little chili plant which lost all of its bloom. You can see it was, it was actually in one of the grow beds that um, got stuck on continuous flow in the morning so in the by the afternoon even these leaves were like really really drooping it's lost all of its other leaves other than these two i've got another plant that was growing with it so it'll be a good way to keep track of how it's doing here's a cutting from the lemon tree and that looks like it's also a little weak it's not doing too well this i just put in today let's see how that does and this one is another monisteria plant this is rather three of them together, I think, you know, in a big bunch. And I've just managed to solve the flood and rain problem. Underneath there, it's really dark right now, night time, but you can make out that's where the sump tank is. And we're all three pipes empty out into it. So I did all this plumbing myself. Here's the overflow from the fish pipe, a fish tank coming out. I have to cover up that little bit of pipe to make sure that no sunlight gets into it. Here is the fish tank. Now the pump is down there in the sump tank where it's pumping up to this pipe right here. And here is our tubes for our air stones. There's two 8 inch ones in there and a little aquarium filter. And here's the electricity for everything and flying next to it. Now there's three goldfish. I don't think you can quite make them out in this light. There's just three of them. One of them was euthanized this morning because it fell into this uh, overflow pipe. I don't know if you can make that out. And this is the big piece of tarp that I'm using to cover that up. And I'm going to put that up here on this little roof and make a little wall for it in a day or two to make sure that I don't have to go through, you know, taking it and putting it back every time. So um, let me know what you think about it. Take care.